for this outlet. The cool. outlets, yeah. That's it, just the outlets. If I gotta tell people in New York this is the outlets, they know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I feel Everyone's got these crazy yeah, ass right. houses here. They pay forty two hundred in rent for this entire place. Jesus Christ. Their roommate just left, moved to North Carolina, so this room's open. I got I got a lot of opportunities here. I got access right to the bike yard. Put a little hammock action right there. See what's good with the nabes. So, dudes. Yeah, so I'm strongly, strongly considering the move out here. How could I not? 80 and sunny. Work out outside, go outside, be on the beach all day. I get a sweat her day we're gonna be out here having a good ass time so to the motherfucking greatest what we got cooking on the ones and twos let's get a little look oh man that was good mm. a little sparry a little sparry sparry look at this little guy Woo. Backflipped off of those rocks, right there. and the, it was the most terrifying thing. Do people normally do that? No, dude, no. No one jumps off that. Dude, dude. It was one of the scariest things. Did he like? Did he know? So Kelly's not in town. What's the name of the place? What's up, homies? About 6 p.m. Sunday night. Some of the guys just went out to get some dinner, burritos. You know, the worst part about California. Let me tell you, definitely not the weather, definitely not the beaches, definitely ain't the people. It's the fact that I gotta get up at 10 a.m. to watch football on Sundays, which means I gotta be up 8 a.m. to live stream with you guys. But it's also nice because it's Sunday night football game is on right now and it's gonna be over at a reasonable time so I can get to sleep at a reasonable time. But now I'm just on my computer doing some editing, finishing up some work while peoples are out of the house. And that last apartment I showed you guys that I was walking through and said they have an open room. I know I've only been here for like two, two to three days. Yeah, it's literally been like two full days. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take that room. I'm like 90% sure. And so I'll be home for the holidays for sure, back to Jersey. And then I'll figure out from there, probably after New Year's, I'll come back out here and move in. Who was that? Randall Cobb, yeah, whatever. 
I ain't worried about no corns on the cops. Oh man, I look beat up after this weekend. It's been amazing out here and I love it. And I'll probably stay out here for, I have no idea. Like I don't have a concrete time, but six months, a year, two years, if it goes well. I don't know, man, I really don't. But I know it's incredible out here and I know I will not regret doing it, so. Whew, <clears throat> it's Monday night. It's around 5.30, I think. Finished doing work all day. No one was at the house, so. I was kind of posted up, doing my own thing. I was gonna go work out at the gym. I worked out at earlier this weekend. I have a friend down here that like works clients out at a gym and she lets me and my friends like go there to work out whenever she's doing that. But my friend took his car. So I was stranded at, uh, I was stranded at his apartment all day basically, which was fine because I had a lot of work to get done. Um, as soon as I finished though, it's the bet one of the be my favorite parts about California in general, but more so like his apartment is when you walk right outside, you guys saw like that little balcony part where we were grilling and hanging out and working out in the earlier clip is, I didn't get a gym membership when I came here. I didn't get like a free trial, even though I'm sure there are a lot of gyms out here that I could do that for, but you could literally step outside and do a workout. Like I understand why people are so much more uh, fit here and in much better shape because like, there's no excuse not to work out, right? You don't have to go to a gym to work out. I literally stepped outside, did a bunch of sets of push-ups, jump rope, ran up and down the street, and then I ended up just like running. And I took like, there's like a little like boardwalk section that goes down the beach. And I hate running. When I'm home, I almost, I almost always run on the treadmill. But out here, I was just, I ran down the boardwalk. I have no idea how far I ran or how, for how long I ran, but it just like felt so good. Oh man, I absolutely love this place. Oh yeah, I also fucked up on the other part because that apartment I was at, I was telling you about that I might move into. My friend has like the open room with the guy who moved to Carolina. That's actually not open. He thought I was just talking about moving in with him until I go back for the holidays. Yeah, that's not that's not open, which is a bummer because that place is gorgeous and it's literally right on the beach. Like when you're sitting on the balcony, you're looking at the beach, there's no houses in front of you. That being said, maybe it's a good thing so I can kind of venture off and do my own thing and I'm gonna go apartment hunting this this week with uh, the girl who works at the gym. So I don't know if we're gonna stay in Carlsbad in this city, but we're gonna be looking anywhere from like Carlsbad up to actual San Diego, like the city. And we're both kind of in the same ballpark of like budget and you know, where we're looking to be. We both wanna be like by the beach, obviously. We both aren't looking to, because the apartment I'm in right now is like, I think they pay like 1400 each rent. So that's expensive. That's definitely out of my budget right now. But I'm thinking more between like 800 and a thousand. I know they say like you're supposed to budget, supposed to budget like 30% of your monthly income before taxes to an apartment. And that's just, obviously like very, very ballpark cookie cutter answer. Um, but I think that works good for your first apartment. I guess I'm not really one to talk because I haven't done it yet, but that would mean like if I want to move into an apartment that's let's say like 950 bucks, I would have to, that'd be 30% of like $3,150. So I would have to rake in $3,100 per month in order to afford that. You know what I'm saying? It's not unattainable. You just, I know, you'd have to be more smart, smart with when you're spending on like luxuries and things you want rather than things you need. If you multiply out 3150 times like 12, right? That would be like your salary before taxes. That only comes out to between like 36 and $40,000 salary. And most people starting out, even entry level usually makes that. So, and yeah, I mean, I could definitely hit those numbers, which is crazy. Cause well, first of all, it's not a lot. So it's not, I don't know. It's just crazy. Cause I started from scratch and that was like my main goal when I started this whole thing was to work for myself so that I could do stuff like this, right? Travel around, work where I want, do what I want. This is like literally, yeah, this is encompassing everything I've been working for, for stuff like this. And uh, you know, I have revenue streams coming from the Facebook marketing, revenue streams coming from YouTube, purchases on my website, some of the sponsorship things, like if you guys buy watches or whatever, like the promo deals that I have going on that you can see in the description on my channel. Adding all those up, I mean, I'll be a, a near that number. Um, I could always just work a little harder and I should be able to do it. I just, I know I have to be a lot smarter and stop shopping. Speaking of, I'm such a fucking hypocrite. Today was Black, uh, Cyber Monday. I bought a new camera. I mean, it's free returns, but I wanna try it out. Like, I right now I'm on my iPhone. I usually use my Sony camera, which has like the flip out screen. So that's good for vlogging. Uh, but the camera I just bought is more for photography because I mean obviously if I'm out here I want to take advantage of that. I bought wireless speakers the UE Boom 2. One of Nick's roommates kid I'm staying with has the UE Boom 2 and they're fucking incredible. They're like the best wireless Bluetooth speakers I've ever seen. They play so loud they could shake the whole house and they're they're waterproof and everything so I gotta get walking back to the house now. So yeah as I'm telling you that I need to save more money I spent some money today but I think I'll be all right I don't think I'm gonna make the move like permanently or anything we'll see how the apartment hunting goes there's just not a lot left at home like where I come from right and like out here the the quality of life is just so high it's so hard for me to pass up at this age of course I'm gonna miss like my family my friends and just uh, you know that's like where I grew up it's everything I've ever like known so I'm super comfortable there I just can't imagine a place where I'll be happier than this you know I don't know that's my spiel <sighs> So, it's the next morning. Just been kind of walking around town. All the roommates went to work. So I figured rather than stay up in the house and work, it's a nice day out, so I'll walk down to the center of town, 
it's like a mile walk away just been creeping around looking for different cafes so dude look at all these vans that they have over here Everyone's got like the old school Volkswagen. It's so swaggy. So yeah, I was at a cafe for about two hours. The Wi-Fi was on and off, so I couldn't really get a lot of work done. So I've just been walking around the center of town looking at different shops and stuff. They have a really cool downtown area here in Carlsbad. Wow, look at all the graffiti here. This is cool. I have it over there across the street. I keep walking into cafes to, you know, find another one to sit down at and work at. And every time I go in, I order a coffee because I feel bad just walking in and being an asshole and be like, can I have the Wi-Fi password? I'm not a customer, so I'll buy a small coffee, ask the Wi-Fi password, and then they tell me they don't have Wi-Fi. I'm like, sick cafe, dude. So this is like my fourth coffee this morning. I'm spilling it on myself. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to the housework, and I might go for a run down by the beach again and then just lay on the beach for a while because my friends don't get home from work until like six-ish. We're gonna do Taco Tuesday tonight. Oh, on the apartment front, I found a sick place. It's in Del Mar. It's like this community, this apartment community. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms, really nice living room, tons of amenities in there for 2,000 bucks. So me, my friend are gonna go look at the place eventually this week and see what's what. It's closer to like La Jolla and closer to San Diego. It's a little farther away from here, which I guess like when I originally started looking, I thought I wanted to be like right around here, right? Because these are the only people I really know here. Honestly, I have no idea where I am right now. And I've been spoiled because all their apartments are right. I mean, they're in the Marines, so they get like a nice uh, monthly housing stipend. So they all are hooked up in like really nice apartments that I can't afford. I've been spoiled by staying at their places because it's on the beach. And now I'm like, oh, I want to live there, but I'm never going to be able to find a place that I can afford right on the beach here in San Diego. So I'll take you guys around with me when we hit up some of the apartments this week. Well, I just found the coolest place ever to work. That's a fireplace. So it's Thursday morning, the last day of this vlog, and I realize I think my favorite part of this is uh, obviously the apartment location. Every time I get to take a call, I just walk outside, like if my mom calls or one of my friends from back home calls and I'm on the phone, it's like walk outside and I start just wandering through the middle of the street. I don't know, it's kind of crazy. I'm just like talking and I'm looking at the beach. You guys can only see where I am right now. Well, your asses are back in cold ass New Jersey. It's probably like 14 degrees over there. What else we got going on here? So we're gonna go look at the apartment today, but my friend had some clients that she had to shift around and it wasn't a good time. So we're gonna hit it next week. I have a call I'm about to get on in, what was it, 9.47? So 13 minutes at 10 a.m. <clears throat> and then tomorrow we leave for LA because we're going to the Jingle Ball concert tour. It's super poppy. It's literally like Ed Sheeran, Taylor Swift, uh, like Charlie Puth. I'm gonna leave the concert when Charlie Puth goes on stage probably, I hate his music. The Chainsmokers are playing, so I'm pumped for that, but it's really like a white girl poppy music, but we got the tickets for free because I have friends that work at iHeartRadio and they own like Z100, so I'm not gonna not go to a free concert. It's gonna be really fun. I'm going down with a couple people, I guess that I know here, still waiting on definite plans. It's like two hours north, so I think we either gotta take an Uber or train it there, but it's gonna be awesome. Uh, we'll probably stay for the weekend up there in the LA, Santa Monica area, if that's even right. Anyone from California probably correct me. I have no idea where Santa Monica is. I'm not even sure why I just said that. It's gonna be dope. We got a hotel at the Ritz Carlton, which means we gotta play. What was that song uh, that just came out that was like super popular with the Ritz Carlton? Who's that, Plies, Plies? Yeah, wait, I'm gonna throw that on right now. Wait on it. Ran off on the plug twice, forgot about this song. Sorry, I just wanted to hear him say Ritz Carlton. That's where I'm staying, and then we're gonna have a weekend. So if anything else cool happens for the rest of the day, I'll let y'all know. Otherwise, this is the end of the episode, my first week out here in San Diego. Next week should be a good one because it will have footage from the concert this weekend along with some of the apartments I'm gonna be looking at. Actually, all my friends that are here, that are living in the house, that are the Marines, have to be, go away. They got a, they got randomly assigned to like a camp for the week or weekend, so it looks like I'm gonna have the apartment to myself. So we're gonna do a lot of dancing around here. You know how it is, I just like, Yo, by the way, these UE Boom 2 speakers, I ordered them for Black Friday. The most incredible speakers I've ever heard. Would highly suggest buying a pair. I got them for like 75 bucks on Black Friday. They usually go for like 130 to 170. I'm gonna go nuts this week. It's gonna be sick. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, thumb it up. If you are new to the channel, subscribe. I will be back every Saturday, so next Saturday with a vlog. And I do a bunch of fantasy football content throughout the week, so check in on that stuff if you're interested. If not, I will see y'all. And I'll see y'all. Oh, on the live stream on Sunday. Peace.